Bafos kebab, 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 bafos kebab, 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 bafos kebab, 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 bafos kebab, ishu. TikTok, neza chundisha ngome ka hey song Nambutia kama ring chong Kwa zuri unapigia bao kama ping pong Na kwa zuri uko peki yako Unafanya nizidishe kuhaso Silali na lala macho Na kuita bali kubali ya kuna zaidi yako Hakoza wanama Kibabe, 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 Nataka kusikiliza kusikiliza kibabe uh-huh. Akasima ya Fit Q By the way ni ngoma ya chino wa mashirikisho wa Fit Q uh-huh. But you are a big fan Yani mimi ni big fan Wa Fit Q yes. Kitu ambacho Mina ameshtuka ni mwenye ni meshtuka Kwa nini hey. hey. You know kwa I know kwa most of his songs Nazimu. Kwa, kwa jinsi ambavu unaonekana Na nini ukisimu unapenda ngoma za Fit Q I'm like ok Mdada fula ni vitu kimuangala tunona Victoria Secret Sindio Hapa tuambia mina sikizaka saa ngoma za Fit Q Well Ah lazima ushtuke Lazima ushtuke Lazima ushtuke Karibu sana kwenye double XL Thank you so much Yeah na hongera sana Tumona jinsi ambavyo unewakilisha Tanzania vizuri kwenye maswala ya modeling <laughs> Duniani. Duniani. Mbona <laughs> ana? <laughs> yeah. Umefanya kazi na makampuni makubwa. Bado mnaye modo. Ale si leo tuko kimodo modo. Mbona mbona. Eh eh. Sawa. Yoga, yoga. Wewe. Ai. Eh. Ah ni kwa kuzungumzia jinsi ambavyo mfanya kazi na makampuni makubwa kama Tom Ford Jui Calvin Klein yeah. Secret Burberry Gucci Prada Fendi mm. This kidogo you know yeah. Na alikuwa cover mm. ya yeah, Vogue Italia Sindio team Vogue yes. Majuskati tena Vogue what ile Hong, Hong Kong Hong Kong Sio mm-hmm. yeah. kama in short kati ya mamodo wa Tanzania ambao wanawakilisha vizuri huko nje Heret hakosekani kwenye top 2 Yeah, very true. Ongera yeah, sana. Asante, thank yeah. you. Ongera sana. Thank you. Mimi hata sijui nianze wapi honestly. Kwa nini? Endelee ni endelee ni akuja kwa kweli. Bado nitafimini, si unajua. A very beautiful girl, you know me? Yeah. Like, my heart is so fast. Oof. It's beating. Oh, yeah, I have that effect on a lot of people. A piece of chocolate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So so Harriet, ah yeah. uh, tuambie tu kidogo jinsi ambavyo hizi connections zilipatikana mpaka hapa ambapo umefika sasa hivi. You know, nilianza modeling, nilikuwa nasoma Epiphany. Mhm. Bagamoyo. And unajua ukiwa mdogo, I think nilikuwa like 11 or 12, watu wanakuambia unajua wewe uende kwenye umisi, but my mom she's very strict. Yaani yeye ni shule, soma like nothing on the side. Mm. Kwa na play sports akaniambia acha wewe soma. My mom akapata opportunity akaona fanya kazi Canada, akaona fanya kazi mambo ya nje. Mm. Mm. Foreign affairs. 
kufika Canada I was like this is my chance. Hapa yeah. sio bongo. Mom, I have to do this. Nikamwambia I have to do this with or without your support. Mm. Nisaidie or not. So she was like fine, I'll support you. Nikatafuta agencies and I think nikwa 12 years old, nikaenda nikamwambia hi, my name is Harriet, I'm Tanzanian, I'd love to be a model. That's it. And I think nilikuwa on my birthday, nilikuwa natimiza miaka 13 and I flew to New York for my first time mm-hmm. by myself. And then I never went back home. So that's who back now. I was the guy. Yeah. Ulikuwa na nani huko New York? Um different people, agencies, you know, I feel like damu yangu ya kichaga, I'm just a hustler, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So whoever I meet, I'm like, "Hi, I'd love to work with you." And then it just kind of happened. Ongera mm. sana. Thank you. Kwa miaka 13 mwenyewe. Aingia zake New York atafuta maisha. 13 na ambeti hapa mtoto jamani. Sawa sana. No. 13, you have a full-time job, bado ni mwanafunzi pia in Canada. Mm. Wow, kuna mshikaji yetu alienda Marekani 2 years karudi hapa like uh the Jew uh cool of Marekani uh <laughs> really to the ishi. Really it's very uh, difficult. Lakini nashangaa wewe 3 uh 13 years bado Kiswahili imenyoka namna hiyo. Unaongea na nani kule? Kiswahili na nini nini nini? Um, You know, I actually Ama uko bongo zaidi. Kule unaenda unafanya kazi then you come. No, mimi mswahili. On I'm on YouTube every day watching you guys' interviews. Oh, really? oh. I'm watching all the Thank gossip you. sites. Yeah. I'm just watching, just making sure I keep up with what's going on at home. Well, that's the self. That's the self. So good. Sababu sijiski kama mtu akula. I feel like kama mimi ni wa hapa. So even if I spend a lot of time there, my heart is still here. Is it true kwamba ma models wanaishi maisha mazuri sana? Yaani maisha yao ni ku enjoy too. Yaani stress na kwaga ni kwa mbali sana. Well, yes, yeah. yes and no. Modeling unajua ni kazi kama kazi zingine. Mm. So I still have to be professional show up on time. It's just kwa mrembo tu. Yes, but no, kwa mrembo unajua it takes a lot of time. Mm. Kwa mrembo kwanza inabidi, yani you have to work on your skin, on your hair, on your eyes. Yani you always have to look good and that's not easy. Kuna facials, we massage, you get your nails done on top of that gym every single day. Mm-hmm. And then Inabidi ukipigwa picha you have to look good. Unajua kuna wasichana wengine ni warembo lakini they don't know how to take photos. Mm-hmm. So you have to be photogenic. Na hicho ni kitu ambacho you can learn from experience by doing it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's not easy but it's doable. Lakini pia inalipa sana nasikia. Sana. Acha. <laughs> should be like sana. Sababu hiyo ni modo hizi vitu tukapiga ni oji kwa hizo ni diamond zina bling hapo. Actually everything was gifted. I didn't buy anything. Oh. Uh, ah yeah. zawadi. Like how? They just kind of send it. Una, una they're like, "Oh, if you wear it, you can take a photo and post it. If tag not, us. it's okay." Where? Yeah. If they pay you, then you tag them. If not, mm. Yeah. Una nice yeah. Issue ya mamodo ya kwa kwenye kula. Wameban hapo sana kula. Yaani inawezekana sister du kama ambavyo unaona mishine kama hiyo. <laughs> Changamka nini? Asubuhi kala limao <laughs> na tangawizi. Bas. Mm. Na maji ya moto kasikutua afu imeisha hiyo. Is it? It Na, depends. Katango kao kwa mbali. Hapo <laughs> 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 kuna ukweli na uongo. Uh-huh. Yeah. to pay the diet yako yani. Okay. Diet yangu it depends. Kama niko huko au niko kule. Kama nipo huko nikiamka na kunywa chai ya yangi, chai bora na chapati au mandazi. Lunch ugali mara. Chapati ngapi? Chapati mbili. Oh. <laughs> Waka ni obvious chapati ni mbili. Sio nani alisema hiyo. It's obvious. <laughs> Kila more than two. What's wrong? Mm. <laughs> you good. <laughs> uh-huh. And then um lunch guy na maage maybe some rice and chicken and then dinner the same thing lakini nikiwa kule my diet changes sababu nipo kazini mhm so wake up ni kweli na kumwa maji ya limao and then um breakfast maybe laba mayai like a scrambled eggs or something mm. and then yeah lunch a salad and then dinner lunch some salad. <laughs> some yeah. sort of fish mm. basi ili mm. hiyo ni kwa nini ili uendelee kwa mwembamba au You know what? Ukila heavy foods, yani you don't have energy to work. So you need to eat light so you can keep your energy up. Unaweza oh. kukuta umeshiba and then you want to you not take a nap. You want to fall asleep. So you need to eat very lightly. Kufika nyumbani at night kazi imeisha you can yeah. eat yeah. as much as you want. Lakini like beforehand just keep it light. But you know, cool mm. house kind. Ni stage gani kubwa sana uliwahi kupanda paka ukaona hii ni stage ambayo hakuna kubwa zaidi ya hapa tena. Um the biggest one for me I would have to say ni kwa Victoria's Secret because mm-hmm. wow yani, I know the secret now <laughs> it's Victoria, <laughs> it's Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yani, 
I still mpaka today I don't believe that I was there kwa sababu yani mimi kasiana kadogo kama zaliwa mpagala kama you know mwimbili kama kulio kubongo bongo mpaka yeah, nimefika huko mm. it just feels like unreal yani I can't imagine amshukuru Mungu but then other times where I've made it made me feel like I've made it um one time my agency i don't know if i'm allowed to say this my agency mm. got an email from what wa mama samia on an invite to some sort of event mm. Mm. bigger than any stage i've ever been in wow the president invited me victor was sick i think yeah i think i couldn't make it but i was like wow she knows me yeah yeah that was a big deal au kufanikiwa kukutana naye lakini no squeeze up so i had a job i was actually in copenhagen so squeeze up fika ni wa kufanya okay. the event. Pesa gani kubwa umewahi kutengeneza kwenye kazi kama hizo au kazi gani ilikuwa ina, ina, ina pesa zaidi ambayo umewahi kufanya? Kwa nini si ala hiyo unasikilizaga hivi? This girl man. Um the biggest job I have to say I've done I used to have a contract na kampuni ya makeup inaitwa Maybelline, Maybelline and okay. I had a contract for four years. Hmm. And let's just say Ushaka kufika Los Angeles? Hapana. Yeah, yeah. One, the, been there, been there. the amount they pay you for the year you can buy a house in Los Angeles. Uwe. Woof. Woof. Yaani hela ambayo umelipwa kwa mwaka. Kwa mwaka and I had it for four years. Lakini hapo remember unakatwa kodi. Mm. Agency yako inachukua 20% commission yao. So by the time you get it it's like half lakini it's still, it's still good. Yeah. 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 Ndio hela kubwa zaidi ambayo umewahi kutengeneza. Yes. Watu walikuwa nadhani ni Victoria Secrets kwa sababu hata kibongo bongo time ambayo li make headlines yeah. ilikuwa ni time ya kutokea kwenye show ya Victoria Secrets. You know what's crazy? Ukifanya Victoria Secret they pay you good lakini the amount of kazi unazopata from that it's bigger than what they pay you at Victoria Secrets. Ah. Yeah. Connection oh, nyingi. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Uh, kazi gani ambayo uwezi kuifanya? Yaani uwezi kuonyesha mavazi gani na kwa nini? Au oh, ngoja daza. Mm. Shamzungumzia Victoria Secrets ndizile ma, mm. ma yeah. Yeah. yeah so na, no vya za diva na ni ovya za nafanya eh. excuse me <laughs> na nadhani na nadhani wewe ndo model wa kwanza Tanzania kupanda stage ya Victoria Secret ni wa kwanza but i don't think nitakuwa wa mwisho i think there's more mwisho. there's more of us coming exactly, yeah yes. there's And a lot more image. thank you yeah. um hakuna mavazi ambayo nasema sitavaa because mimi peke yangu me by myself i'm just me kazi ni kazi yeah. so siwezi ku show up kazi nikasema no i'm sorry siwezi kuvaa hii nguo siwezi ku do my hair like this kufanya makeup ya aina hii kazi ni kazi na mimi ni mimi nikifika nyumbani i know who i am i know what i believe in i know my values That's that. Yeah, you go dazen. Yeah. Kumbuka uni modo eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na unaweza kuta uh, time yake ya kazi ikawa tukiwa atangaza tu mafuta. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So nabii tu ni skin ngaye pale. Mm. So she can even walk like that. It's ni kazi na sio issue kwake. You got to for that. Ni kazi. I like it. Na ni fan wa Fili. Anamsikiliza sana Fili Q. Farid Kubanda. Black mm. Cinematic. Why? Why? My favorite song ni mpya kibabe but the other one that I love ni la loimba I think it's called Sherry. Ivi mm-hmm. mami. I know the words. Word, 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 wait. <laughs> you know jina yako ni kubwa sana na tunakuheshimu sana. Thank you. <laughs> yani kwa career yako ilivyo kubwa ukisema umempenda feed kwenye mapiano kaka yetu ngosho tuondoshia <laughs> kule na tubaki kule and I know you like feed sababu ya hip hop. I do. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan. Kwani mpenda ama piano ya Fidi kule na mimi naona aja kaa kwenye ile beat kabisa. I think he's really talented. I think a lot of creative people walk ahead of their time. Si sababu na tunataka muona ah you know lakini he's ahead of his time. In a few years kama tutakuwa tunafanya hivi. Wow. So Fidi one man. I'm a fan and I like the new song and I'm going to keep listening. Ah, right, shout out to you man. Mm. Nikukubali sana. <laughs> Kibongo bo. Um, Aendelea. Wewe bana uh, you are very natural skin yako inaonekana hujapaka mafuta ya kuchubua rangi mm. nywele yako inaonekana hujapaka ya kukombeleza nywele ini no. iwe sophisticated kucha zako sioni umebandika ma watu 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 no. na ndio modo expensive ni unapiga mamitonyo yani for four years ulo fanya pale ungekuwa na nyumba kama nne hivi nazo tatu but yeah unazo tatu sasa hii <laughs> ongera sana <laughs> mtu kuku date na bidia na sifa gani <laughs> Mtu kuni date hawe na sifa gani? That's a good question. Nobody's go. ever asked me that. Then 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 then. Mtu kuni date, kwanza I'm engaged. I'm almost married. Oh. But <laughs> mtu oh, kuni right. date, right. they need to be inabidi wajijue, wajifahamu who they are. They need to know who they are and then also they need to have ambition and passion. Mm. You may not have a lot of money or a lot of 
things going on like you know you have a passion towards something and you have something you're working towards mm. Mm. that's it that's it i mean on the like in hey Una ambition is everything hey, <laughs> Nico, na, na, na take notice <laughs> <laughs> Bongo bongo. Yeah. Unaona ma uh, wadogo zako dada zako nini? Unaona watu kama wewe, unaona models wengine kama wewe. Yeah. Unafanyaje kuwa connect? Well, tuwe kama nyie wengine. Exactly. So actually a few days ago nimeanzisha modeling agency yangu ambayo um what I'm planning to do ni ku wachukua wasichana na wavulana wa Tanzania and to connect them to agencies ambazo ziko nje. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 29 July we're having a casting call okay. so I can find models wa kuweka kwenye agency yangu but the other day I post I'm starting my own agency kama wewe ni model unataka kuingia message me or go on our website Mchana iko Kilimanjaro kanitumia picha zake mm. I was like yeah you could be a model nikamwambia can I call you on Zoom tukaongea I took her photos nikazituma to an agency and now she has an agency in New York wow Mm-hmm. You know if you have it you have it. Mimi mm-hmm. I'm just the link. I'm just the connect. So mm-hmm. for free unawafanyia. Wow. Well. Mchaga. Yeah, mjiri kwa Saira. Yeah, it's a good thing though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not charging anyone anything for the for the connection but what will happen is when you're at the end or kufanya kazi, any job they do, I will get 20%. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh si mbaya kama kwa partner nikikusaidia kuchagua those models kuna namba <laughs> our five five right do you have any experience as a model i can learn from you so najua it's easy to see pretty and beautiful people it's not you have to see the vision vision yeah okay see me na yani mimi ungeniona mbagala kipindi hicho i don't think you could have seen your vision yeah ah, na kwamba naweza kuona flavi bana kinyani kama kabisa huyu uf mbona kama na amekuwa mm. she's doing really well by the yeah. way i'm a fan of her um, brand and nail polish ah, okay. yeah. Mm. yeah yeah she's really talented you want to run brand gani sasa your your own business i don't have any brand the yeah. agency please come to bond mm. to shine agency mm. we need to talk no mm. kuna already so many products kuna already so much makeup perfume nguo there's i don't i'm okay for now Mm. I mean I'm into real estate so mm. yeah you want to keep in chat by the end you are brand keep in chat man we call it Where is it keep in chat I can see the diamonds <laughs> You know my power No Guinness before become smooth there was this guys alikuwa this guy anaitwa nani my power my power alikuwa na para kama hili hapo sasa sababu sasa hivi tuna smooth ofsa huyo hapa to nimetaka kujibrand kama mondo hivi i think you could be you have the look umeona eh and then bado kula tu a fix ratiba kula adam unaweza ukawa mondo unywe maji ya limao kila siku asubuhi mchana ni salad Mm. Makabech. Eh, unaweza ukatafutiwa agent ukaenda. That's the same. Mi nadhani Harriet ni jambo kubwa sana ambalo umeamua kufanya. Ni of course ni si mara nyingi kuona mtu anaenda anafanikiwa kama hivyo New York ni international supermodel unarudi unasema sasa nyumbani Tanzania uh, wasichana wenzangu wanapataje mafanikio kama haya ya kwangu na unarudi kwa push nini ambacho kimekusukuma kwa sababu najua pia hapo katikati uko na kaa sana Marekani sio sana kuja Tanzania sasa hivi umeanza unakuja zaidi mpaka kutengeneza hii agency nini kilikupush kufanya kitu kama hicho Well I got to a point where nilijifikiria nikasema It doesn't feel good to be one of the only ones cool. Kika let's say at backstage at a fashion show na kuta wale Jamaican girls on my car together. South Sudanese girls, the Brazilians, mm. alafu Tanzanians niko peke yao. Uko peke yao. It would be nice and tunaka kikundi chetu backstage at Victoria Secret, you know? Mm. All of us and hey. Naangalia mambo ya Fed Q on YouTube. Mwanza. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're very right. Yeah, Nimekubali yeah, yeah, sana. Yeah, yeah. Na hiyo inakuja. It, yeah. w- it would be nice to to also maisha magumu, you know? Any mm. chance I can get to give back and help? Cuz mm. when I started, I had people helping me too. It's not like I did it by myself. Mm. So also in the future I would love to be able to say like, you know what? I did something for my country, mm. you know? Yeah. Sawa so, sana. Yeah. Uh, I able to kumbushe labda page yako ya yeah. before that. Yeah, before that when you came back, utasema ile tukufollow. 
my Instagram name? Yeah. Um, just hold on, hold on. Mamlaka ya elimu na mafunzi ya ufundi study veta na karibisha maombi ya kujiunga na elimu na mafunzi ya ufundi study kwa kozi za muda mrefu. Ngazi ya kwanza kwenye vyo vinavyomilikiwa na veta kwa mwaka wa mafunzo na uwanza mwezi januari 2024. Mwamu za maombi zinapatikana kwenye vyo vyote vya veta nchini na kwenye tovuti ya veta www.veta.go.tz kwa zeta rekumi julai hadi kuminatano september 2023. Mwambaji awe na umre miaka kuminatano na kuendelea na mwenye kiwango cha elimu kwanzi angazi ya elimu ya msingi. Ada za mafunzo ni shilingi 1000 kwa mwanafunzi wa kutwa na shilingi 1000 na 2020 kwa mwanafunzi wa bweni kwa mwaka. Gharama nyingine zinategemea na mahitaji mahususi ya fani husika. Kwa taarifa zaidi tembelea www.veta.go.tz au wapigie 0755267489. Ufundi study kwa ajira na maendeleo ya viwanda. Tangazo hili limetolewa na Mkurugenzi Mkuu Mamlaka ya Elimu na Mafunzi wa Fundi Study, Veta. Kijamboni. Sasa tunakupa habari na habari yenyewe ni hii hapa. Ijumaa ya tarehe 28 mwezi wa 7, 2023, tunavuka maji na tunakutana Grand Norasco Night Club. Kijamboni mji Mwemba, Dar es Salaam. Official launch Grand Norasco Night Club Indo. Live kwenye stage, Chino Key na kwenye mashine. DJ Sama Tize akiwa na DJ Fanta 47 na Sud the DJ. Sasa Juma mosi hii ya tarehe 29 ni nendelea kwenye Saturday Double Vibes Anashuka Migas ni nenga Na kwenye mashine DJ Fanta 47 Na Sud the DJ Tuma pili tare salafini mwezi wa saba Kwenye Chilling Out Sunday Tuma mshusha kusa Na kwenye mashine DJ Nicky the Best Alongside DJ Fanta 47 Na Sud the DJ Wiki hii ni ya moto sun na kigamboni Grand Nolasco Kwenye mtamkubo nyu kwa buwana shayo Kwa buwana shayo Chuo cha Afya Greenbed kilichopo Mwanga Kilimanjaro kinawatangazia nafasi za masomo kwa ngazi ya cheti na diploma kwa kozi zifuatazo Clinical Medicine ngazi ya cheti ni miaka miwili na diploma miaka mitatu Kozi ya Pharmacy ngazi ya cheti miaka miwili diploma miaka mitatu Uguzi na ukunga ngazi ya cheti miaka miwili diploma miaka mitatu Upgrading kwa uguzi walioko kazini mwaka mmoja Clinical Medicine ngazi ya cheti miaka miwili na diploma miaka mitatu Ada zao ni nafuu na zinalipwa kwa awamu nne kwa mwaka Hosteli ni bure kabisa chakula pia kipo Karibu chuo cha afya cha Greenbelt Mwanga Kilimanjaro. Kwa maelezo zaidi wapigie 0784 au 0763 Pia unaweza kuapply online kupitia www.greenbedinstitution.ac.tz. Greenbelt College kwa elimu bora. Bila bwana mtu akiachwa kwa kweli ni wakuhurumia. Mimi mmoja binti yangu tumekuwa tunatembea naye sehemu fulani. Tumefika mahali kasimamu. Namwangalia na wenge tu vipi akasema yani fika hapa najisikia vibaya vipi si yule mbwa aliyenizalisha mimi ai mwanangu niwahi kuzaa na mbwa unajua mabinti zetu wamewaita nyinyi mbwa mpaka mimi sikuiza hata mbwa akiniwekea siogopi eti mimi napita sehemu mbwa huku watu usienda hata kungata angate mkwewe Umemsikia? Anachekesha eh? Sasa mchongo pesa leo inataka kukuchekesha kwa pesa na zawadi zenye thamani ya shilingi milioni 80 wiki hii. Cheza sasa kwa buku tu. Kama unatumia Airtel, Vodacom, Tigo, Halotel na CRDB Mobile. Namba ya kampuni ni 3213333 na kumbukumbu namba ni neno pesa. Tukuchekeshe kimkwanja. Ushiriki ni miaka 18 na zaidi. Uchezaji ni kiasi. Mchongo comedy vicheko vya pesa black it's not dark it's bright black is bold black is every color all together my thing your thing our thing mixed together black shines bright Excessive alcohol consumption is harmful to your health, not for sale to persons under the age of 18 years.
Furahia ulimwengu wa kidigitali Iwe mvua ama jua kupitia Star Times ni burudani kwa wote kupitia ST Bongo Hello Mr. Right msimu wa nne kila Jumamosi saa kamili usiku tamthilia kali kupitia ST Swahili ya yeah, Three Sisters kila siku saa tatu usiku na kupitia novela E Plus tamthilia ya Two Wives kila siku saa tatu na dakika 40 usiku bila kusahau burudani nyingi na katuni kupitia channel ipendwa za watoto iunge na Star Times kupitia dekoda ya antena pekee kwa shilingi 1200 ikija na kifurushi cha juu cha shilingi 1200 audish full set kwa shilingi 1900 tu pia ikija na kifurushi cha juu cha 1036 bure mwezi mzima ila bwana mtu akiachwa kwa kweli ni wakuhurumia mimi mmoja binti yangu tumekuwa tunatembea naye sehemu fulani tumefika mahali kasimamo namwangalia na wenge tu vipi akasema yani kifika hapa najisikia vibaya vipi si yule mbwa aliyenizalisha mimi ai mwanangu niwahi kuzaa na mbwa unajua mabinti zetu wamewaita nyinyi mbwa mpaka mimi sikuiza hata mbwa akinibwekea siogopi eti mimi napita sehemu mbwa huku watu usienda hata kungata angate mkwewe Umemsikia? Anachekesha eh? Sasa mchongo pesa leo inataka kukuchekesha kwa pesa na zawadi zenye thamani ya shilingi milioni 80 wiki hii. Cheza sasa kwa buku tu. Kama unatumia Airtel, Vodacom, Tigo, Halotel na CRDB Mobile. Namba ya kampuni ni 3213333 na kumbukumbu namba ni neno pesa. Tukuchekeshe kimkwanja. Ushiriki ni miaka 18 na zaidi. Uchezaji ni kiasi. Mchongo comedy vicheko vya pesa With the Northwest University, your future belongs to you. Here, you can get the perfect start to follow your aspirations and make your plans for the future a reality. Whether you want to change the world through science, bring your community together through sport, or define what's possible for the generation after you, it all starts here at the Northwest University. Madogo Smart wa kizazi janja. Yes, kipenga na kipuliza tena kwenu Madogo Smart. Na mikaka yenu Douglas Plus DP niko savabie na mkononi wangu nina swali ambalo watu wengi wamejiuliza nami nalileta kwenu ili muweze kutoa majibu swali limeulizwa na watu kadha kadha akiwemo Michael Daudi, Saleh Juma, Ana Mari hao ni wachache tu lakini wengi wameuliza swali hili. Kuna tofauti gani kati ya michezo na burudani? Naitwa Madogo Smart William Sok. Michezo ni vitu ambavyo watu wanacheza kwa mfano mpira, wanacheza kwa ajili ya kufurahisha watu kwa sababu ukichukulia kama Simba na Yanga wale wanacheza mchezo wa, wa mipira ambayo ingawa burudani inaingia katika michezo lakini michezo yenyewe ni tofauti na burudani burudani watu wanaweza wakaimba kwa michezo ni ile watu kucheza kitu yani kuonyesha vipaji dogo smart saidi ya Messi hapa kwa mimi ninavoelewa burudani ni ile hali ambavyo mtu anakuwa na furaha baada ya mchezo au kitendo fulani kuchezeka au kufanyika ambacho kwa kitendo hicho kitamburudisha na kumpa furaha ili yeye aweze kuburudika kwa mfano mtu ambao anapoimba stika jukwaa pale ufanye vitu ambavyo ni muhusika au msikilizaji au watazamaji wanaweza kuburudika na kupata furaha na kipenda kile kitu ambacho mtu anafanya katika jukwaa hivyo mimi ndo ninavyoelewa mimi huwa lakini ijapo ijapo kuwa kati ya mchezo na burudani haitofautiani lakini kuna utofauti baina ya mchezo pamoja na nini na burudani kwa niaba ya uliza maswali wote naamini kabisa mmeweza kupata ajibu na jawabu kutoka kwa madogo smart kama bado au una swali unataka kuuliza au wewe dogo smart unataka kujibu swali basi niandikie kupitia namba sifuri saba sita tisa mbili tano mbili tano tano sita au tembele ukura sangu wa instagram douglas ngaga kiporo akipiku tena madogo smart wakizazi janja You're listening to Extra Extra Life. Kuba Kuliko Baby. Nje, ya Chaki. Nje, 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 dani. It's the biggest story. Nje, ya Chaki. I love it. Love it. Love it. Chombo. What up? Mm. So far umejifunza mambo mangapi? Mengi sana. Kibao. Eh. <laughs> Kuanzia rangi za nguo ambazo unavaa zina define wewe ni mtu wa style gani? Mm. Mm. Ama sio lakini pia ah uh, ile ingine uniambia nini? Um kama ukivaa white it means like where any any yeah. smart person. Tukamdefine Napenda... kaka yetu tupatupa hapa uh-huh. alivovaa anaonekana ni mtu aina gani? Uh-huh. Yeah, yani... Kama wewe umevaa green 
when I attract cash money. Tell them, tell uh-huh. them, tell them. Tell them you like to make money, you like to spend money. I make money. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> make money, spend money, you know what I mean? Aye, this is Double XL, ladies and gents. Nam si changanya mkafiri tuko siyo na na zuchu, ah. Sarafina, no man, come on man. Tuko na nani? Tuko na. I say, yani mi udada kwa kweli sifa zake ni kubwa sana. Ni modo tu, lakini anafanya vitu vikubwa na shout out to her. Sababu wanaangalia Tanzania ni different angles. Ana amini bada miaka katha. Tutokua tunama modos kama yeye wakiwa kule mbele. Na hapa bongo pia ikishani na brandi zetu zikiwa pale so tunaenda far. Na kitu ambacho hajaamini ni kwamba mama Samia anamtambua. Nikukumbushe tu tunakutambua. Amen, thank mm. you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Na tunaamini ya kile ambacho anakifanya. Yeah. Si ndio? Unapenda michezo? Um, michezo ina gani? Um, sports. Think, think. Yeah, sports of course. Kwani which kind of michezo do you know? <laughs> Like easy TV shows. Ah, okay. No, oh, yeah. maybe I'm a sports Michezo fan. Are... I'm a soccer fan. Mimi na. What? Wait, which team are you? Young or Simba? Um, look at me. I'm a Simba. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 me, me Simba. Where's Simba? Simba? Yeah. Basi, I don't think we can be friends. Ah, you younger. Mimi younger. This is not going to be fun. What do you mean? You're not going to support the team, yako. I did. I went there. Ah, okay. Incognito. Yeah, I always go nikiwa nyumbani. Unaenda kwenye mechi za Yanga? Yeah. Ah. Sasa na watu tiketi yake Yanga alikuwa alalamika sana. Watu wa chama. Tiketi ni gali na nini? But kwa timu za nje mimi I'm a fan of Man City. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Pep Guardiola all those guys. Ah. Okay. Kuna kuna swali off mic nataka li rephrase kwa namna nyingine. Ni master gani maarufu ambao umewahi kukutana nao live? Wengine kufanya nao kazi au wengine hata kuwaona tu kidunia. Um I've met Rihanna, Beyonce and by meeting I mean kama nafanya fashion show wanyao wamekaa wanaangalia the show mm. after the show they come backstage you meet them you say hi you're a big fan. Okay. Um yeah Kanye West I went to his audition kufanya casting ya show yake in Paris show yake ya kwanza. Kajaribisha zile nguo zake. Fashion show ile yake. Fashion show. Okay. Kajaribisha nguo but I don't think alipenda the way nguo zilivyoonekana on me so mm. akaniambia thank you for coming yeah. so I left nikaenda nyumbani but it was nice to meet him. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Ni ni mtu aina gani? You know unajua ukiwa musician <laughs> in my opinion what are the same too? Mm. Yaani hapo he's working lakini he's listening to his own music. Yaani he's like Kanye. Yeah. Kanye loves Kanye. Kanye loves Kanye. Hi. Tuko na Guinness Smooth pamoja na Star Times right now. Tuko sasa hapo kununua. Ni sasa huko kununua nini? Kifurushi cha Star Times. Okay. Kwa sababu kuna michezo mingi sana na unaweza kupitia Star Times. Eh eh kwa endelea kufuatilia, endelea kununua vifurushi na vitu vingi vikubwa vinakuja kupitia Star Times. Tuko tunaongelea ile Instagram page yako, utuambie tuijue social media tuweze kuishi na wewe there. Um Instagram selfies of Beyoncé and Rihanna. I don't take selfies. Mm. You know why? why? When you ask an artist for a selfie, mm. you're a fan. It's okay to be a fan. But if you just say, "Hey, it's good to meet you. Um, I like your work. I'm a fan." That's it. They look at you different. When you ask for a picture and you come in a kushusha flani, hey, sasa tu si nishuke. Like I'm a kushusha. real fan. Yeah, but like you know, if you're a real fan, you can just say ni mifai kutana na wewe. Thank you for the music una tangia. Ina maana hata kipata nafasi ya kiupenyo ki, kazi ya kufanya na fikiri yako na shabiki yangu mmoja. Lakini ukishamwomba selfie anaweza labda akakuona Ah, una pick a selfie afu yani sababu wewe ni model una poa. Mwenye mm. picha una uff. No. That girl. No. To pick a picture nyingine. Una does not ask me for selfie. Ah. Alijishusha. He asked you he's for selfie. Friend. Yeah, he's my he's But, but <laughs> nyie si mnajuana. Ah, okay. Sasa yeah. imagine me nakutana na wewe outside. Nakwambia hi, I'm a fan, can I have a picture? Yani yeah. it's weird, no? Mbona would be okay? Yeah. Kama ni Kanye na Beyonce ada. Ah, security first. Kupita mm. security then you can ask for yeah. selfie. But yeah. most of the time you wait to kupita security. Dada yetu akiwa kule yuko level zile kwa hiyo. Ah, hizi hizo mambo. Na sala mwisho tu kutoka kwangu alikuwa wanauliza Elias anauliza. Kwa mfano kampuni ya Bongo kitaka kufanya kazi na wewe ni process gani inabidi wafuate alafu ni kama shilingi ngapi wajipangeje yani kuweza kufanya labda kukupa endorsement ya kitu. To be honest, yeye kufanya kazi na kampuni yote ya Bongo. I'm open to it, lakini we would have to talk. 
it's not about nakulipa hela hii una post picture on Instagram ama nakupa brand deal una you know unaenda kwenye events zetu it's more like i want a long time partnership i want a long time relationship because mm. this is a one off you una post it's it's not worth my time mm. Mm. Yeah. the page you need to page ya Instagram yangu inaitwa Harriet Paul Instagram ya agency yangu inaitwa 210 management 210 management no no so um uh. i believe in numerology so those are just numbers that i think uh. are great <laughs> also like no. a number then i like a number 7 7 mm-hmm. no you know i know to it? It? what do you mean yeah draw number 7 i don't <laughs> Adam. Anaisikiliza ambaye ni modo anatamani kuja kwenye audition zako na kujiunga yes. kwenye agency yako ili apate yeah. nafasi ya kufanikiwa nje afanye nini? Um, tunafanya casting call auditions pale Sleepwear Msasani July 29 um, kuanzia saa 5 asubuhi and then tunamaliza saa 12 because saa 12 inabidi nielekee airport naelekea Marekani lakini mm. nitarudi after 2 weeks. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Na mwisho kabisa yeah. kutoka kwangu lakini. Yeah. Uh, kuna young girls ambao wanakusikiliza sasa hivi. Wanatamani kuwa kama Harriet leo. Unawaambiaje? Nawaambia in life there's many people ambao watakwambia no, usifanye hicho, utapotea, oh no, hauwezi. Someone will always try to put you down. Yaani you have to believe in yourself. Inabidi ujiamini, ujijue and never take no for an answer. It may take a long time paka ufike unapotaka kufika but utafika. And if you mm. do the same thing consistently work towards the same thing you want to mm. achieve, you will get there. Mm. Na mimi ya kwangu ya mwisho. Game ya tatu imekuwa ni style sahi. You know what I'm saying? Watu wanapiga tatu ya this, tatu ya that. Andika hata majina ya girlfriend, boyfriend, nini nini nini. Unawaambia nini wale ambao wanasikiliza radio na game ya tatu? Um I think tattoo ni personal choice. Kama wewe unapenda tattoos up to you. I like tattoos lakini mimi ni muoga. Um I have three, one over here, jina la mtoto wangu, and then I have a heart here. And then I have a uh, palm tree nimechora kwenye mguu. And I think kama unachora because you like it is good. Kama unamchoria boyfriend nakupa pole. <laughs> <laughs> Why? ujinga tu. Kwa nini mnadhani mtapendana forever? Life is life. Kwenye mapenzi. Na mimi but you know today you're here tomorrow you're not. You may as well kama unatoa tatu just draw one kwa jina lako not jina la mpenzi. Yaani anacho anachokisema Harriet ni kitu ambacho Feed Q alikiimba miaka almost saba iliyopita. Man of the day. Eh yeye kusema kwamba <laughs> maua hunyauka. Mhm. Historia huisha mm. ama story huisha kumbukumbu husaulika. Hiyo tena maanisha kila kitu kinapita. Mm. Kwa boyfriends, juu girlfriends, juu nani na nani, yani wewe jipige wewe mwenyewe. Kwa sababu hiyo uh, wenyewe wanasema rule number one, at least kitu unachokichora usiweze kukichoka kwa miaka mia Sasa imagine miaka mia ni umri kiasi gani hutakiwi kukichoka hicho kitu. Sasa uh, boyfriend and girlfriend wa kesho asubuhi tu mara hivi tayari kumekucha. Kwa hiyo mimi nimejifunza kwamba kweli ukichaka ukitaka kupiga hiyo piga kitu fulani ambacho wewe mwenyewe unakiaminia kuna 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 jamaa mmoja alichora tatua ameandika mtoto alikuwa anaitwa Agnes bwana wewe akachora Agnes hapa sasa wameachana mm. kwa hiyo ikabidi aendeleze hiyo magnesium ah wewe unasema hiyo kuna mtu mmoja aliandika wa mtu hapa tena tulikuwa tunafanya aliandika hapa eti tunda baadaye eti tunda la msimu ndio wewe ujifau na edit Yeah, miongoni mwa vitu nilivyojifunza pia kwa kutoka kwa Harriet kwamba usishushe ile price yako. Mm. We maintain mtu apande mm. kufikia hapo. Kwa sababu unaweza ukashusha mwisho wa siku ukapata deals nyingi lakini za kawaida kawaida. Ndio maana mimi kuna mtu mmoja nilimkimbiza juzi kaja eti DM kwangu una post nguvu za kiume. Wewe <laughs> jeshimu <laughs> basi. Hebu njue niambie bwana tunatangazo hii tunafanya. Yeye kaibuka tu. <laughs> una post ngambia no. Inabidi twende official. Anyways, uh, unafanya kazi nzuri sana. Ah, hilo sio tangazo au? Ah, tangazo <laughs> lakini sasa yani kuna namna kuna namna brand, 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 brand. branding. Sikia kwa unakumbuka Harriet ni model. Ah. 
kama hiyo akifika budget ya kufanya Harriet apige kato kama ameshikilia hiyo hiyo dawa alokuja die Harriet can do that wewe kwa nume mdharau huyo mtu ah sasa alivyokuja tu alivyokuja is the way yani wana budget yao fulani ipogo yani hapo laki siju moja na ngapi kwa hiyo ukaje hizo 50 kwa hiyo kaibuka tu wakati huo mimi nimetoka wakati huo mimi nimetoka kufanya kazi na Uh, watu ambao wame brand kombe la dunia watu ambao wamefanya kazi na formula 1 watu ambao wamefanya kazi sijui na bia gani sijui vitu gani alafu nyie tena nishuke haya sasa ndio hii inaitangaza <laughs> yani mtu anakuja apitia ile bag for a ah, hapa kidogo ame drop hapa ni kwa mimi nimeamua ku maintain pale juu kama ambavyo anafanya uh, Kim Kardashian Kim ana maintain mzee umwingi it's always good to say no unajua kwanza oh. the more you say no to people ambao they don't align with wewe hmm. The more you feel good about yourself. It's okay to say no sometimes kama it kama ulipoambia no. It's not like bad but it's just it's not worth your time. Oh yeah. now, naweza kufika kipindi ukasema yes. What more can I say? Kuna kuna mwanariadha mmoja wa Kenya. Kuna mwanariadha mmoja wa Kenya aliyewe kuojiwa alisema wewe una miaka 42 unavunja marekodi unakimbia binadamu anakimbia sana. Siri yako ni nini? Sasa mimi siri yangu ni vitamin N natumia sana which is No. Why do we know? Eh, yani wewe jamaa alimuuliza kwa sababu natumia sana vitamin N. Watu wengi hawezi kutumia. Watu wengi wanahisi ni wako huru lakini uhuru wao ni kisiasa. Yani kuwa huru ni wewe kuweza kusema mimi sinywi kitu fulani na uweza kujizuia. Mimi sichukui hii. Yani hiyo ndio freedom ya kweli. Lakini hizi nyingine ni za kisiasa. Anyways, Kim Kardashian ni miongoni mwa watu ambao wako kwenye hiyo industry ya mitindo ya mavazi na vitu kama hivyo ndio mm-hmm. na Kim Kardashian bwana nimekuja naye hapa ana story moja ambayo kidogo ina inaleta ina utata Wajua watu kwenye YouTube huko wanaangalia wanataka wamuone huyo Kim Kardashian uliokuja naye yuko wapi? Ah of course kwa maana mimi nimekuja naye hapa. Huyo mtu atakao ametoka bariadi. Haina noma na kusalimia mko wangu. <laughs> Kim bwana alikuepo kwenye mechi ya uh, Inter Miami ambayo ilikuwa ni debut kwa Lionel Messi mechi ya kwanza kabisa mm-hmm. na miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo nimejifunza Kim yeye haombi self hata huyo stars juu NBA players juu ya kuombi sema kwa mwanaye anamuombea sana mwanaye yeah. wakija watu anajua kabisa mwanaye bado hajaweza ku maintain sijui nini kwa hiyo akija mwanaye ambia Messi please chukua selfie akimuona star anamuita kabisa njoo chukua selfie na mwanangu kwa hiyo last time kamuita Lionel Messi kaambia bwana mwanangu ana kukubali sana naomba t-shirt yake hapa mpe sign piga naye picture amepiga naye Ijumaa uh, ikaja Jumamosi Jumapili Jumatatu Jumanne ameshakula ndege ameingia zake Tokyo Japan ameenda kuangalia mechi ya PSG na Al Nasr ambayo Ronaldo anacheza katika hiyo mechi yupo kwenye stand sasa watu wako wanajiuliza ameenda kuangalia PSG versus Al Nasr au ameenda katika mji ambao ye Yupo kumbuka Kanye West na mpenzi wake mpya wapo katika mji huo Tokyo. Tokyo. Wanakula zao bata no mm. life sijui nini. Mm. Bidada naye katoka kaenda zake katika mji huo na kafika kaanza kuingia sijui ma shopping manini manini. Sasa watu wanajiuliza huyu mbona kama ana anafuatilia kwa eh kama anafuatilia mechongo. Yaani inavyokuaga <laughs> Kanye ndo yuko nyuma yake sana mwana dada sio mwana dada yuko nyuma ya kanyi kiivu labda ni story imebadilika inazuka imebadilika usabi ye sasa hivi kanyi tangu wameoa amekuwa mbali na mwana dada hana amchase tena kama vile zamani zamani alikuwa disturbs the peace you know yani lakini sasa hivi sasa hapa eh afa anaangusha party yani party night long yani wewe na boyfriend wako kwa muenjoy mnajua tunafanya nini hapa afu mamodo zao wamefanya na Kim kama yeye yani wanakuja hata mke wake anafanya na Kim ambaye amemuoa mule mule tukapita but wait i have a controversial opinion mshawahi kusikia kitu kinaitwa co-parenting yani amko together mom and dad wapo together lakini mnalea pamoja na mko in good terms kuongea kuhusu watoto So in my opinion what I think happened is Kanye yuko huko na mke wake wako kazini. Kim na mtoto wake wameenda labda kuangalia mpira sasa yes. wakasema kwa nini tusipite tukamuona mtoto akamuona baba? Mm. No. I don't think that she's following him or I don't think he's following her. Hiyo inawezekana. Ila ila kwa mongo. Funga maduka, nunua kila kitu. I'm here. 
Is, mm. Yani hizo najua uh, magazeti mengi sana yameripoti of course Mira the Sun the Mail sijui nini yake namna ambavyo Kim ameingia pale Tokyo kama the host wamejua kwamba of course kuna mtu ameingia hapa afi ye ameingia pale ame ame, ame chill friend kwa hiyo inawezekana hiyo ambayo ni kuolea kwa kushirikiana lakini inaonekana kuna roho moja inasema don't chase attract asa ye kama mwanzo alikuwa na chase lakini sasa hivi kagundua mmm sikimbizi mimi natulia zangu na attract kwa hiyo mchongo ndio unifuate mimi inawezekana jana tulipiga story kuhusiana na turbo ya muda umeisha bana Asikuna mifuzi ya kusema no and no self vitamin N haina vitamin N by the way jana jioni ile tukaiona double agent tutakuja kuijadili kesho sawa ah here is thanks so much for your time asante una chote cha kumalizia hapana thank you for having me i'm actually you said hapana ndio mtu wa kwanza amesema vitamin N vitamin N asante ni kwa ku having me here um i'm a fan me i've always loved your work thank you um we does Great to meet you. I'm a fan. Thank you. I'm Same here. Call you money man. You don't know my name. I do. Now, what's my name? Adam. Say my name, babe. Is it Adam? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see? <laughs> this is Adam Oji. I'm Chomvu. Oji. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you and to Tupu. That was nice. I was real. Yeah. yeah there is a meaning of Tupa Tupa. But Tupa next Tupa. time I'll let you know. Thank you for having me. And also DJ. That song will play pale kwenye break. Unyama kabisa. Chef's kiss. Love that. Chef's kiss. Take it from today. Yo, sasa niko kusikiliza double XL signing out.